One day I want to hit this button and report good news. Imagine that. Imagine a world where where you report only good news and, and it's so good that you just you can report it until there's so much of it because it's all good. Yeah. Unfortunately we report the bad news, right? That's all that really... Why do we report bad news and not good news? What is good news, you know? What is it? Ah, someone... A billionaire. A billionaire gave all his money to the needy. He built a hospital. Ah, maybe a story like that. They're far and few. Instead, we have a pedophile. The greatest serial pedophile in American history. Kills himself. <laughs> allegedly. In a jail cell. And also, uh, I'm, I'm going down to the, uh, the QAnon killer today. QAnon, Anthony Camillo, the guy who whacked the Gambino guy. Day in court today, I'll be there. But uh, before that, let's get this Epstein stuff out of the way. So, so this is new, new details, new details for the Epstein case. This is just out yesterday. FBI swarms Lolita Island. <laughs> oh shit! Don't get too happy. All right. And um, there's new, the New York Post is reporting that Jeffrey Epstein hung himself with bedding. A makeshift noose on his neck. So those are the two bits of uh, information. Let's talk about the um, FBI. The FBI launched a search of Epstein's private island. Directed by the Epstein Task Force of the New York Southern District Federal Office. <laughs> they got a... They got an Epstein task force. So the FBI is now swarming Lolita Island. And what are the what are the allegations of Lolita Island? That not only did a lot of stuff happen there, but it's likely that Epstein buried his 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 um, his smear campaign somewhere, possibly in a possibly in a safe over there or some underground shit, right? So FBI is searching Lolita Island two days after the alleged death of Jeffrey Epstein. He's dead. Let's call it what it is. He's dead. Now, is that a good thing? I know the Q people, oh boy, he's fucking, here it comes, the deep state, they're bringing him down. I know it. I told you. I told you. I told you. Easy. Now, what makes you think that the FBI is not going to go in, snatch the evidence, the evidence come down like a falcon and snatch that evidence and put it away somewhere. Put it in their pocket right here. They put it down in their pocket. They drop it down their pants and hold it and use it to protect the elite. Oh, you think they you think they want to they want to they kill they kill Epstein. Let's call it what it is. It's a murder. They killed him. They either stepped out of the way and let him kill himself, torture him until he kills himself. Or they stepped in and killed him. Right? Because no one has suicided themselves in MCC. That jail, I, I think in 20 years or if not ever, I don't know what the statistic is. But nobody ever gets to kill themselves at MCC. Metropolitan Correctional Center in Manhattan. The torture chamber <laughs> connected to the Southern District of New York kangaroo court where 90% of the time they find their people guilty right? so it is a killing right it is a killing they either got right, you know they got out of the way right? so we'll talk more about how, how he killed himself but the evidence on Lolita Island is going to be very interesting is there evidence on Lolita Island of course will we see it <laughs> Uh, uh, we'll live in any troubled times, man. Why? Why do you think? Why do you think there's? Do you think that the 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 FBI is working for the people? Or are they working for the billionaire class? I mean, it's kind of obvious, right? Who the agencies are working for. But nonetheless, the FBI has swarmed Lolita Island, 
and is now snatching, cracking safes and opening, snapping up doors and, and, and riding around on, the, on golf carts around Lolita Island, sniffing out all the evidence of, of, of sexual activity with underage children, girls, 13 to 16, pictures of, of naked women on the walls. Right? Where's that evidence, right? Who's going to get to see the evidence? So just to reiterate, it is a murder. Jeffrey Epstein was killed. Whether, because the circumstances that, you know, guards weren't where they're supposed to be, they, you know, there's maintenance, there's no cameras, there's fucking, it's a whole shit show, right? It's a shit show of misinformation that never happens, especially when you have the number one, the highest profile inmate in America right now and you let that shit happen? No, it, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen and it didn't happen S unless somebody made it happen, which appears to be the case, right? There is an autopsy, so there is, there is now mounting evidence that he is dead and that, uh, uh, that um, someone stepped out of the way and let him die. Right, or killed him. Shoot him with a heart gun. You know, something. Who knows? Right. So, so that's Lolita Island. Seven, eight, bill, eight million dollar, twenty-four thousand square foot residence. Spa, two pools. Ah, Jeffrey Epstein was living large. Now he's underground. Well, he's not underground yet. Hopefully, we'll see a funeral. Yeah. Right. See a funeral. Go over, poke the body. Ha ha ha. Is that you? Are you dead? Is that plastic? I don't know. I'll find out. So the New York Post is reporting uh, that Jeffrey Epstein was found hanging in the cell with a bed sheet wrapped around the neck and secured to the top of a bunk bed. <laughs> bunk bed? That would indicate there's two people. Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? It's a bunk bed. They left him in a room. Oh, they wanted to give him more space. <laughs> they wanted to give him more space. He had a duplex. He had a duplex in the cell, but his, uh, his roommate was out of town. Right? And in, in those places, there's nothing to hook onto. It's not, it's not possible. It's not fucking possible. But that's what they're reporting, so we'll swallow it for now. Epstein is six feet tall, apparently killed himself by kneeling towards the floor and strangled himself with a makeshift noose. He hadn't been checked on for several hours. <laughs> it's turning into a comedy show, man. It really is. Staffers attempt to, attempted to revive him. He was taken to the infirmary inside the jail and transported to New York Presbyterian Hospital where he was pronounced dead. One of the workers wasn't a full-fledged correction officer. <laughs> Only one of them was. I mean, it's just, it's just getting unbelievable, right? So that's, that's Epstein. Right? <laughs> Take what you will. Now we have a, we have an alleged, you know, testimony on how he died. That right? strangled himself. He, he was six feet tall and he kneeled. And he choked himself with a bed sheet. Right? When nobody else in history, all the crazies, all the all the all the the suicide bombers couldn't even kill themselves in that joint. But Jeffrey Epstein, no no no, he's very savvy. Little Jewish boy from Long Island, he was able to pull it off, man. Smart. He's so smart. He was so smart that he was able to he taught math, so he's able to figure out how to kill himself in a maximum security prison in, within three weeks. So, that's Jeffrey Epstein. That's all I know right now. There's two big pieces of information. And the QAnon killer, Anthony Camillo, Anthony Q, is it connected? I want to find out. Is it connected to the El Paso, Texas, Ohio, uh, Dayton, Ohio, and garlic shooting, garlic festival shooting? It also, the other interesting part of QAnon killer was that he killed the Gambino crime boss on March 13th and the New Zealand shooting was March 15th. So 
were they reading the same board? Are they part of the same QAnon sleeper cell? Was it? Because that's what I'm going to ask the attorney if I get to see him today. That. That's so, um... Did he... Did What I want to know about, about this QAnon kid, right? The QAnon, the guy who had the Q on his hand. Q. Remember he went to, Q, to court with Q. Q, MAGA forever. Patriots in charge. Did he, um... Did he coordinate somehow on social media? Because that's what his attorneys are trying to... They're trying to make a case for. Uh, insanity by... Um, I don't know, it's insanity. It's a mental defect. Guilty by mental defect. Or innocent by mental defect. Because he was mentally defected because he was following Q. Is the argument. So, to what degree was he following Q? Was he on the same board as the New Zealand killer? Did he inspire in the same fashion the Ohio, El Paso, and Garlic Festival shooters as well? Because there does seem to be a correlation between very angry, angry white men shooting guns. So, I'll be at the court today. I'm going to go inside and listen. Over in Staten Island, New York. And uh, I'll listen and I'll try to get some, some details from the attorney. Uh, probably by noon. Marcus Conte reporting.